ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. A fight winning on the back foot is Algeri versus Ruslan Provodnikov. Oh, yeah. With a severe injury like that, right? I mean, and that's rare in boxing that that fight was allowed to continue. Thank God for Chris it was because he was able to win. But when you see a fight, you know, let's talk about the cuts for a second. Let's look at that fight where Chris's eye was basically shut from the second round, I think, or was it the first round? It's like it the was first a, or second. It was, it was early. early. It was it was bruised and it was shut, but he was in the fight. He was in the fight. So you have, let's look at, um, let's look at the fight with uh, Franco that I was involved in and uh, Maloney. Maloney. Okay. So that was, and, and so I'm, I'm I, ha I can't, I don't know what that was with Chris and Protnikov. What was that ruled? I don't know if that was ruled a uh, punch. I think it was ruled for punch. I think it was because I think it was enough. I have to go back call. and revisit it. I think he got dropped and there was like a tremendous swelling. Yeah. It's ruled that way. And you're, it's from a, a legal blow. You got to go. And Chris was able to be in the fight every round, even though he couldn't see. And his cut man did the best he could to keep it controlled fighting a generational puncher a generational power punching pressure fighter that everyone's thinking is going to fight pacquiao after he beats chris yeah and so you have that where now that ruling is that's an injury that's early but it's from a legal blow so if the fight is stopped dude it's tko right mm -hmm. you lose so you do everything you can which chris did to win and he did but then you look at the Franco fight, that fight now in the, in the round, as soon as it happened, uh, the referee said accidental headbutt caused by accidental headbutt. He made the verbal ruling to us, to the other corner, even though they said they didn't, you can look at the tape he did. And he said it to the other um uh, to the, I think the judges or the doctors or whoever at ringside, he called that. He said accidental headbutt. So he was very adamant about it. At the end of the round, he comes over and he, he, I'm working on it, right? And uh, he, the doc comes in, he looks at it, he sees that it can open, and Franco can see he can see his eyes ball moving around. So then after the second round, right? And, and if you look at the first fight, Franco was behind on scoring anyway in the first fight. Well, he starts so he was, in the third or fourth round. Like the Franco style I felt going he, in was, yeah. and he's not going to be fast. Oh, it was a different fight this time. He was, no, it wasn't. It was the same. Maloney's freaking good, man. Maloney's I, an editor, as is Josh. Joshua Franco is too. It was two really excellent fighters going at each other. And, uh, the thing with, so then after the second round, we know what is the ruling? Accidental foul in a title fight within the first four rounds. If a fight cannot continue, it's a no contest. That's it. If it's after the, if it goes into the fifth round, sixth round, it goes to the scorecards, right? Goes yes. to the score, right? So, we're not, it's not good for him. So he cannot, it's tight now. I touched it. It's tight. The ref comes in, he goes, accidental head, but you guys work on it this full minute. I'm going to give you one minute to work on it. So that was a wonderful thing that the referee did. He let me do what I had to do. We call time. He gets the dock in. The dock sees it cannot open this time. He cannot see his eyeball. It's a, he's behind the thing. It's an accident ruled at the time an accidental foul that's it now i will say something to you that whatever i mean whoever what's ever say but you know i mean at nevada athletic commission excellent commission right mm -hmm. but they did not review that they had they could review it after the first round but they did not review it so in the reviewing they put a yellow light on the ring so everyone knows it's being reviewed it didn't happen 
they went with the referee. The referee was very adamant that he felt it was from a butt. Now, after, so that's what we as the corner, Robert Garcia, they go for. We can't say, review it, review it, right? Ugh, it's too late. You got four. It's, there's too much going on. Like, you, you can't be rounds. thinking about that and trying to win a fight. That's it. You got four rounds to make a decision. The kid cannot see. He says, I can't see to the doc. The doc can't see his eyeball. He see it the first round, but not now. Now, usually from a headbutt, the eye is damaged from the, the bone, usually the bone against the bone around the eye, usually bruises and swells. You can see the purplish bruise. This was pretty, pretty much a tight, looked like a thumb, looked exactly the I thought it, I thought it was a thumb, but that's so, just me, conspiracy well, me. I thought it got kind of poked. No. Because what happens is after the fight is, after the decision is rendered, the corners made their decision to stop the fight. It's going to go to a no contest based on the ruling of the referee. Everybody goes to the film. That's too late. It's too late. There is a no. You can't overturn it after the fact is done. You have your replay during the fight. You cannot replay after the fight. So you can look at it a thousand times, right? And you can say, oh, well, maybe there, there was a butt, but it, because his, he had some bruising on his uh, forehead, but it wasn't probably, that was caused by, and it, it, even in the rules, the ABC rules, it says, see, they used the Mexican, both of them used the Mexican Everlast gloves, which are thumb attached, but thumb is big. So in the rules, it says, an accidental thumb caused by a jab, caused by a jab, accidental thumb, that's a thumb, that's an illegal, that's an accidental illegal blow. It can happen with those gloves. You can hit the, and that's what it looked like happened. So there you go. I mean, it was just like, it was unfortunate that such a great job with the replay in the past, everything was good, but you can't, everyone got caught up in replaying that after the fact was over. If you overturn that, now you can go to a grievance hearing with the athletic commission, but that's a separate situation, right? That's separate. Yeah. Yeah. That's something that, you know, you can do, but, and you can get it overturned based on that. But at the moment you got to go with what was done and let it go and go to the next fight.